So let's talk about what kind of objections you might be getting this time of year. Um, okay. Probably one of the most common ones is going to be because you guys did have hail this year, I believe, but nothing like sh crazy to my yeah, understanding. Not, no, not in Lexington. We haven't had anything crazy. Okay. So have you had like some small events though? Yeah, we have some isolated events too. And I think Justin, I think he does have some type of program that allows him to see where most damage is done. So he's been out in those areas, I think. Okay, terrific. So based on that knowledge and understanding that this is like end of the year kind of now, right? So mm -hmm, definitely. a lot of people believe, well, it's just it's the end of the year. You can't get any more jobs. And to those people, I say, you're wrong. <laughs> That's super strong. <laughs> a super strong statement. Um, but no, like two objections you're probably going to get are going to be, I don't think we have any damage. We're good. Okay. okay. Because it was a smaller event. Like when it's a hailstorm where freaking cantaloupes fall from the sky and people's like Chevy, Chevy Malibus are just smashed, like undrivable. Yeah. Everybody knows there's hail. So when you bring it up, they're just like, yeah, that probably makes sense. Like, holy crap, we probably do have damage. But um, in an event like kind of where you're at, people sometimes don't even know that they had hail or they don't yep. understand that it's plausible that the hail that they did have maybe caused any damage. So that's going to be an objection that you'll probably get. And then the, uh, the next one is just we didn't get any hail at all, right? Because it's the end yeah. of the year. So mm -hmm. the longer that time goes on, it's people just don't like they lose the urgency about it. So you have to kind of remind them that there was damage. And then you also have to use urgency to get them to step on it, right? Do you have any idea when when the storm was that you guys are like mostly working? Do you know what month it was by chance? I don't. Mm -mm. Well, then let's just say April. But let's say, yeah, okay. Okay, so we're just going to pretend it's April. So if the storm happened in April and it wasn't that big, and now here we are really creeping up on November here in a couple weeks, yep. people are just out of the loop. They're not thinking about it. So you might knock on the door and you might do your approach. And first and foremost, you're going to use the right approach for this specific situation. You're not going to use the same approach that you'd normally use because it's an older storm and it was lighter damage. So to prevent objections, our approach might sound like this. Knock, knock, knock. Hey, I'm really sorry to bother you. I hate knocking on people's doors. Um, but do you happen to know Nancy and Tom across the street? Yes or no, it doesn't matter. Okay, well, long story short, do you remember that hailstorm we had? It wasn't really even that massive, but back in April, yes or no, it doesn't matter. All right, well, it wasn't like a crazy storm, but lo and behold, we've been really surprised. There's been quite a bit of damage out here. Um, I think it was just maybe because of the wind that accompanied it, but I just got done doing an inspection for Nancy and Tom, and I've done several inspections kind of in this neighborhood and in an adjacent neighborhood, just say something. And uh, surprisingly, like we found quite a bit of damage. So the thing is, we're kind of coming up on the end of the year here. Like winter is about to happen and the storm already happened like way back in April. So it kind of doesn't leave us much time except for these this next month really to do our last round of inspections. And then the you know insurance adjusters come out and they kind of do their thing with the same timeline as us. So we're gonna do some free inspections just in case it's better safe than sorry um, for the rest of this week and next. I'm going to be out here Monday and Tuesday. I have to do some measuring actually at their house on Monday at like four. Would 4.30 or 5.30 work better for me to pop over and check yours out? See? Okay. So I've done that already. But still, because of the situation, so we've handled most of the objections really, but you still yeah. might get one, right? So maybe they then say, oh, we really appreciate you stopping by, but I really don't think we had any damage. And I'd be like, Absolutely. And I completely understand you saying that. In fact, Nancy and Tom thought the exact same thing because it was so long ago. And most people assume like, if I had damage, I'd know about it, right? But hail damage is kind of weird because it doesn't cause leaks for sometimes years. It's not like wind, like if wind rips shingles off, you can just look at your roof and see, oh, I have missing shingles. Hail actually just does bruising. So it bruises your shingles all over. And it sometimes takes months, years even, but the sun, wind, rain, sleet, snow, all that stuff slowly wears off those granules and exposes all these circles of asphalt to the sun. And your asphalt shingle is only that thick. 
So once the sun eats holes through there, then you finally get leaks. It's kind of an obnoxious process, but like I said, it's a free inspection. It's really not a big deal. If for some reason you really don't have damage, I will let you know. It is a waste of my time to tell you have damage if you don't. But if you do, just like the couple of the neighbors, I'll take pictures. I'll come down. I'll let you know what's going on. So does 4.30 or 5.30 on Monday work better for you? See? Okay. So that's yep. kind of how that works. So we're presenting the urgency. Like that's one of the... It's funny, like some people think that knocking this time of year is super hard. I never thought so. The, the only reason people think it's hard to knock this time of year is because they're using the wrong approach. But mm, it's yeah. like the easiest time because you get to say the storm happened in April. From middle of November or end of November, we got December, January, February, and most of March is going to be wintry still. Snowy, ice, frost on the roof. We can't get up there on the roof. Next thing you know, it's April. That, there's no time there for you to file a claim in time, get an inspection, get the adjuster out there. Plus, if you have hail damage, the last thing you want to do is go through a winter with hail damage on your roof, freezing, thawing, ice, snow. Like that's, it would be crazy to do that, right? Yep. So those are kind of, I'm just, you might not say all of that, but I'm just giving you as much uh, ammunition yeah, as yeah. possible. <clears throat> to kind of piece it together for each and every time. But that's really how you handle that stuff. And it's like, most people are not going to say no to you when you do that. And if they do, leave them a card and just say, well, I tell you what, Mrs. Jones, if you change your mind, I'm going to be doing inspections out here all of next week. So here's my card, call me or flag me down. You'll certainly see me out here. Because then you're yeah. building more belief. I'm out here, I'm out here, I'm out here. Your neighbors are having me over. Oh, look, they're actually getting a roof on, <laughs> right? Yeah, just building value. Mm -hmm. yep.